Hi, my name is Caesar, and this is my friend CJ. And this is how we make Google Slide presentations. Was that not specific enough? Alright, let me explain. Simple as this, since CJ can't talk and I can't go inside the computer like he can, these presentations require teamwork, which means CJ presents the slide while I voice the slide. And that's how we create CJ Slides. Good morning, class. It's great to see... Ugh, I knew no one was gonna show up. Well, I guess a video is no different from an online class. Hey guys, so I decided to become a music teacher. But as you can see, nobody showed up. Sad. Music is a type of sound you cannot avoid hearing. Its vocal or instrumental sounds, or both, combine to produce harmony and express of emotion. But how did music start off? Well, you came to the right place. Today, I will be teaching you about the five period timelines of music. Enough talk, let's get singing! Uh, I mean, presenting! In many ways, music has played an important role in the life cycle of humans. For songs, video games, TV shows, and movies. Music was an idea made long before it officially existed. Did you know that the early man developed primitive flutes from animal bones? They even used stones and wood as percussion. But it's not just about instruments. Vocals count as an instrument too. Voices have been the first and most natural means of expression since the day of our ancestors. From these humble beginnings, Came the music we enjoy today and is still evolving. Now, let's get to the history of music. Now we enter the medieval period of music. By this time, music became a dominant work of art. It was during this period that the sound of music became increasingly familiar. This is partly due to the development of musical notation. Throughout the medieval period, the music slowly began to adapt even more from the elaborate structure that produced works of immense beauty and devotion. Two people known as Hildegard von Bingen and Pirotin have pioneered many of the musical forms we still recognize today, including the motet from the Sacred Mass. Alongside these important forms came the madrigal that often reflects the moods of the people of the time. Instruments developed in accordance with the composer's imagination. Towards the end of the High Medieval Period, we now land in the following period, the Renaissance. It is important to mention the troubadours and the troveres. These traveling storytellers and musicians covered vast distances on their journeys across Europe all the way to Asia. These people told stories, sung ballads, and brought them with influences from far and wide, blending with the Western musical cultures. The Renaissance was known to be the golden period in music history. Free from the constraints of medieval musical conventions, the composers of the Renaissance forged a new way forward. A French composer named Josquin Desprez is considered to be one of the early Renaissance composers who became a great master of the polyphonic style. He often combined many voices to create elaborate musical textures. Then, Palestrina, Thomas Tallis, and William Byrd build on the ideas of Diaz Perez composing some of the most stunning motets, masses, chances, and instrumental works on their own right. Modality was firmly established as a basis for all harmony and all those strict rules governing the use of dissonance. The expressive qualities of Renaissance music is virtually unparalleled. As instrumental pieces became accepted into the repertoire, the development of instruments such as the bassoon and the trombone gave rise to the larger and more elaborate instrumental groupings. Ow! My ears are ringing and I don't even have ears! 
All of this gave composers more scope and experience to explore their creative ideas better than before. The Viol family developed to provide a very particular haunted quality to much of the music of their time. Alongside the establishment of each recognizable family of instruments comprising percussion, strings, woodland, and brass. The Baraku period houses are filled with some of the most famous composers and pieces that we have in Western classical music. It also sees some of the most important musical instruments developments. Italy, Germany, England, and France continue from the Renaissance to dominate the musical landscape, each influencing the other with conventions and style. Amongst the many celebrated composers of the time, G.F. Handel, Batch, Vidali, and Purcell provided a sustainable introduction to the music of this era. It is during this glittering span of time that Handel composes his oratorio, the Messiah. Instrumental music was composed and performed in tandem with vocal words, each of equal importance in the barbecue. The virtuosity that began amongst the elite Renaissance performers flourished in the barbecue. Consider the keyboard sonatas of Domicchio Scarlatte or the concertos that Vivaldi composed for his student performers. This in turn leads to the significant instrumental development, the birth of the violin. Vocal music continued to include the mass, but also the oratorio and cantala alongside anthems and chorales. Opera appears in the earnest in the Barracu period and becomes an established musical form and vehicle for an astonishing expression and diversity. From the Barracu, we step into the classical period. During this time, Haydn and Mozart dominated the musical landscape in Germany and Austria. From the Ornit Barracu, the composers of the classical period moved away from the polyphonic towards the homophonic. They began writing music that was on the surface. One key development is the piano! <laughs> Mozart and Haydn each wrote a large number of works for the piano, which allowed for this instrument to develop significantly during this period. Chamber music alongside orchestral music was a feature of the classical era, with particular attention drawn towards the string chordage. The orchestra itself was firmly established and towards the latter end of the period began to include clarinets, trombones, and tapani. The rise of the virtuoso performer continued throughout this period of music as demonstrated by many of the concertos and sonatas composed during this time. Opera flourished in these decades and became a fully-fledged musical form of entertainment that extended way beyond the dreams of the barbecue composers. As the classical era ended, Beethoven became the most notable composer to make a huge contribution to the change into the Romantic era. Beethoven's genius shaped the next few decades with his sustainable redefining of many established musical conventions of the classical era. The Romantic era saw huge developments in the quality and range of many instruments that naturally encouraged more expressive and diverse music into the composers. Musical forms such as the Romantic Orchestra became expansive landscapes where composers gave full and unbridled reign to their deepest emotions and dreams. The Romantic period presents us with a vast array of rich music that only towards the end of the 19th century began to fade. It's hard to conceive of what could follow such a triumphant, heroic time in the musical history, but as we push forward into the 20th century, the musical landscapes take a dramatic turn. Echoes of the Romantic era still thread through the next century in the works of Elgar, Shostakovich, and Arthur Bliss. But it's the music from France that sparkles its way into our musical consciences. Two singers known as Debussy and Ravel are the key exponents of this colorful movement that parallels the artwork of Monet and Manet. Both Ravel and Debussy composed extensively for the piano using poetry for inspiration. Their orchestral works are amongst some of the most beautiful and evacuate pieces ever written. In parallel, the Teutonic world began to undergo its own revolution in the form of the Second Venice School. The Teutonic world began to undergo its own revolution in the form of the Second Venice School, led by Arnold Schoenberg. Disillusioned with the confines of tonality, Schoenberg threw out the tonal system in favor of a new 12-tone serial system giving each step of the chromatic scale equal music validity. The result was serial music that was completely atonal and transformed into the musical landscape. 
almost betraying anything that had happened before. Ah! Hey, let me out of here! Ugh, smells like fish in here! And there you have it! Those are the five periods of music! Maybe you don't need this stuff to compose music on your own, but maybe it can give you ideas if you ever want to make your own music. Now, let me end this slide with an ear rape electric guitar solo! One, two, three, four! My ears are ringing.